All right guys, it has been not one, not two, not three, not four, not five, not six, but seven straight seasons of working with Eric Ebron. Absolutely crazy to believe, but today we are going to be bringing you the first pair of cleats we are cooking up for him on his new team, the Pittsburgh Steelers. And for our first pair of the season, we went with this Pikachu theme, obviously to match the team colors, but also really cool how the timing lined up. Just last week, we announced the DCF video game contest, and I have a slight speculation that we'll probably see some other Pokemon entries for that one. Really looking forward to seeing all of those, but for today's video, we're gonna walk you through how we pulled off this theme, how we did all of this lightning. And starting off, we got to paint everybody's favorite color to paint, a little bit of Angelus Yellow. So we already have our cleats completely prepped. If you guys are interested in another detailed cleat prep video, go ahead and hit that like button for us. So anytime you start to think of a Pikachu theme, one of the first things that comes to mind definitely has to be all of that lightning and the electricity flowing directly through them. And although lightning is something that you can absolutely freehand airbrush, I thought for a special pair like this, it would definitely be fitting to cook up a new lightning pattern stencil. With something like this, as always, when I'm going for a textured type look, I wanted to have multiple variations on a couple different lightning bolt patterns, a couple variations on some different lightning streaks, and just to be able to achieve some really cool effects. And I figured if this is something that could help me out on a special project like this, you guys might be interested in it also. So we decided to go ahead and add this into our Etsy shop. So you can go ahead and check that out in the link in the description if you are interested in it. Now, when I'm actually using the stencil, I like to take advantage of just using some lighter shades of yellow to build up some different textures and even mix in some different shades of gold with some different lightning streaks on the yellow. After I've built up enough texture on both my yellow and my white portions of the shoe, that's where I'm actually going to try to have the lightning streaks fading from the yellow onto the white. And in order to do this, you just want to play with those lightning streaks at some different angles, bleeding directly from your yellow onto your white and even working in different shades of the yellow. Mix in a little bit of gold, mix in a little bit of white, just have different shades of yellow along with those lightning streaks blending from yellow onto the white portions. After that was complete, I wanted to add a little bit of a white glow back near the front toes of the shoe. So I decided to first lay down just a little bit of white and then use those same lightning streaks and bleed those directly onto all of that yellow. And then just to really help sell that white glow, what I did was mix in just a tad bit of pale blue into my white and then build up some of that lightning texture onto there also. Now that we finally have all of our lightning work done, it's time to move into some of our character work. And of course, you know it's time for some of that toothpick gang action. So sit back, relax, and strap it down. And here's a look at some of the content that we cooked up for these with these two photos and this really cool animation that we made. So as I mentioned earlier in the video, hard to believe it's been seven years working with Eric Brown, but let this be a lesson that I think it's really important that you should have a pretty similar goal for basically everybody who's one of your clients. Take care of those that take care of you. Ebron is somebody who has brought me countless teammates over the years, and it's so cool for him to trust me on a weekly basis to cook him up a really cool pair of cleats, and definitely something I don't take for granted. So as just a friendly reminder, don't forget all entries for the DCF video game contest are going to be due Friday, November the 13th. Really continue to push yourselves and think outside the box for this one, guys. A lot of people have already hinted at some of their themes and their ideas, and it is going to be a crazy one, so we can't wait to see all of the things that you guys cook up. Please be sure to go ahead, give this video a like if you haven't already. It really helps the page grow and we appreciate all of you guys' continued support. Go ahead and subscribe if you aren't already and we'll see you guys in that next video.
Hey guys, thanks so much for watching this video. We're gonna be giving away one of the lightning stencils that we use today. All you need to do is comment your favorite original Pokemon down below. One of my favorite memories as a child was every Tuesday night at Burger King, my dad would take me and you could buy, sell, and trade Pokemon cards with everybody else, play the Game Boy game, and even trade all of the Burger King collectibles. Definitely a great memory. 